I'm here at 287 Tracy Road in New London. The house is on the market for $469.5. Four bedrooms, three bathrooms. It does have its original roof and it does have its original boiler. The septic was replaced in 05. Septic was replaced in 05. That's a big one. Um, you are looking at New London area, which is notorious for its high radon. This house does have a high rate on air. That's about $1,100 to have that finished and fixed. And it also has high rate on water. And that's a little bit more. That's uh, four to 6,000, I believe. So this is your kitchen. You've got oak cabinets, stainless steel, big, big um, island here. Very nice. Granite, open to I think somebody probably took the wall down a little bit and opened it up that was because this is a 1980s house. It probably would have had a wall here. Got a great fireplace, hardwood floors. This probably was a dining area. It is a dining area. The tenant did not take their couch. The tenant didn't take their couch. Isn't that fun? We'll get rid of it. It's not a problem. <laughs> They're coming. We have a bathroom here looks like newer tile newer newer vanity and looks like newer tub with some tile above this is your backyard nice big backyard beautiful location love the street um all very nice homes all along the street it's close to new london downtown Go into this bedroom and you still have the hardwood floor. You have the six panel pine doors, which are very nice. The windows look like they probably are original from the 80s. They look in good condition. They are double pane glass. Anderson, Anderson windows. Closet in this room, so a small little bedroom with a ceiling fan. Go into another bedroom, closet, ceiling fan. So kind of like a Jack and Jill bedroom situation here. Six panel pine again. We'll go to the other end of the house first before we go to the second floor. So you've got your big living room over here. So good size, tall. Cathedral ceilings, a couple of nice big windows. You've got the, the little atrium doors that you can close it off. Place for your wood, fireplace. You could have your tall Christmas tree in here. Uh, in this room, you have your master. Again, large windows. The windows looking out to the deck. So this is the backyard, so your garage. And a little, little uh, shed over there. Double windows on this side. Master bath, tile floor, newer vanity. Oh, nice, nice little tile shower. That's a nice little upgrade. I like that. They've done some nice upgrades since the since the house was built. They just haven't done the roof. And you've got the original boiler. You've got a little closet behind the door here for this bathroom for linens. Oh, it's not little, it's good size. So again, the tile, nicely done. Over here, you have a good sized closet for the master. It's walk in. So we have three bedrooms living room, dining room, kitchen, all on the first floor.
nice cupboards, definitely. And it, they don't look like they're from the 80s to me. Well, they did this in the yeah. 2000s. So yeah. They the yeah, so this, they, there's a lot of upgrades from 2000 in this house, most definitely. You've got a gas stove, stainless steel dishwasher. You still have your make your heavy, make your trash heavy container. I love those. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, if you have to, if you have to pay per bag, it's a good thing to have. But these are all craft made cabinets, so very nicely done. You have pull outs on some of them, most definitely. Under the sink. Yeah, looking good. And then the double stainless. And you're looking out to the backyard. It's a nice, nice. So let's go upstairs and see what we've got. So two fireplaces, one in the dining room and one in the new, in the living room. I think the living room was an addition over the years. So you got oak treads on the stairs. So all the carpet's gone because this house was probably built with carpet originally. So, Originally, this was probably the master bedroom when the house was first built. And you've got bathroom looks like it's been updated and worked on since 2000. A couple of cute little tiles. So it's a Jack and Jill bathroom, obviously. So double closets in here, good size windows. This looks out. Unfortunately, we don't see any roofs today because we just got covered with snow. This looks out to the street in front. Really nice, nice location. We've got some built-ins over here, little desk area. The closets, typical 1980s, I'm sure, just what you see, yep. So, bedroom, and over here you've got great big storage. This would be an awesome closet. Oh my goodness, yes. You could, I mean, it'd be a little tight, but lots of storage for sure. A little chilly, it's been doors insulated. Then you have this other bedroom over on this side. This is all a vinyl laminate floor that was put down. They last very well. They're good with dogs and kids. So you've got your closet. And then your Jack and Jill bathroom to share up on this floor. Nice. You've also got a basement that's partially finished. When you come in from the, from the garage, or from where you park your car, you'll be going in through the lower level and coming up to the first level because your front door is a good place to hang your room most of the time in New England. There is a path up here. You can come up to the front door. There looks like they've plowed, so there might be some kind of driveway here. No, it's just nope. a walkway. Just a walkway. I think the plow guy is making it easier on himself. Yeah, the plow guy, the, the plow guy has definitely uh, made this a lot larger than it probably is. The septic system is all back. No? Yes? Yeah. Um, no, it was. So what that was replaced in 05. The new system is behind the garage, the new leach field. Okay, so you could have some kind, if you wanted to have something that drove up to the front door, you could if you wanted to. Yep. But the plow guy is just making it a little more <laughs> obvious. So this is your basement. You've got a pocket door. The big rooms are down under the living room. So I'm sure. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah, so pocket door. Carpeting on these stairs. Looks like vinyl laminate down on the basement floor. So when you come in, 
This is your mud room. Nice size room. Double closets so everything can be put away. You've got room to make some benches. You've got your two car garage right over there. Your little shed next to it. This is your driveway. It's got a little slope down from the road, but not too bad, not too drastic. So nice size mudroom. I think back when this was built, this was that was the garage area for the house. Very typical of the style. This is your boiler. So it's a peerless boiler. They're known to last a long time. The burner is what usually gets changed. This one's got a little rust on it and whatnot. And but they do they do run quite well. You know, I would have somebody inspect it and see how it's going. I've got a good boiler guy. If he's not too busy, he can look at. You've got two flues, one one clean out there, one clean out there. So you have one for the fireplace and one for the boiler. You've got your electric box here. So your main and then all of your breakers. Well, looks looks reasonable. Then vinyl laminate floor and you've got more closet spaces which is always wonderful. Storage is a great thing. So your oil tank is here. A little bit older, probably original to the house. Something else to be inspected. Another little closet space here with some shelving. And another little closet space here with some cedar chipboard for your walls and whatnot. This is just a cute little, could be a little office room very easily with this great window. Yeah, you're under the deck, but it's a nice, nice window space. Looking out to the backyard, the stairs coming down off the deck. This door, double pane, wood. And then you've got this addition room. So they probably cut through the concrete right here when they added on this addition. You've got a room here with extra space for storage. And I believe this is walk out to the backyard. Looks like it. I think it's closed, it's not opening, but that's a walk out to the backyard. Again, the backyard. So, I mean, it's just like any house, you're gonna, you're gonna have some work that needs to be done. So you've got this, there's where your chimney is for the upstairs. So you've got your fireplace clean out and another clean out, so it's a double chimney down here too. Looks like there's some gas in that. And that might be a gas fireplace up there in the in the living room. I'll have to double check that. Baseboard hot water. You've got another room here. It doesn't have a closet, doesn't have a door on it, but it does have uh, regulation size windows. Looks like somebody used this as a little bit of a dance studio or maybe an exercise room or something because it's got mirrors on the wall there. It's got some extra lighting, fluorescent lighting in the ceiling. It's a drop ceiling. Again, your backyard. So some really, there's a lot of space in this house. Um, a lot of different spaces. You've got two bedrooms upstairs with a Jack and Jill. You've got two bedrooms on the first floor and a master on the first floor. Living room, dining room and kitchen area. Upgrades are from 2000 and 2005 with the septic. And let's see, we've got this mudroom area again, but we have this room too. So this is where the septic system is going out to the septic field that's beside the garage. 
You've got laundry here. This is a warm space, but I'm sure it was the garage back in the day. You know, the insulation up here, I'd probably get somebody to do a little bit better job, put it up a little better, maybe even a little more. Um, but it's all warm space now, so you don't have to worry about it. It's not a garage. And then you've got your pressure heating tank right there. So, nice. Nice little house in New London. Great town, great school system. And, yeah, there's only 850 houses on the market in New Hampshire right now. Last last week there were 1,050 so the market's booming and moving so this is not something to wait on if you're interested I would say move forward I mean it's not perfect but it gives you a lot of options and I'll go back and give you one more look at the kitchen so we'll start over here so there's your two little Jack and Jill bedrooms the kitchen then you've got the island here with lots of cabinets with more cabinets over the refrigerator they did a nice job on that and then this is where you can have your big dining room table very easily beautiful dining room and again the living room over here big deck and this is how many acre or 1 1.2 1 .2 acres so you got a good piece of land too this is square, so it's not warm and skinny. It's and the neighborhood seems to have all fairly good sized lots and very nice homes. And the master over here, again, a little bit of paint will go a long way. But you've got ceiling fans, you've got the access to light, add new lighting, the new LED lighting. there you go and oh i was going to check and see this this is a gas fireplace yeah so there was a gas gas system down there so this is a gas fireplace very cool you don't have to haul wood in so much fun <laughs>